What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, competitive games from tabletop to video games. And today's episode we're going to be reviewing the KO Transformers MP10B Black Convoy aka Nemesis Prime. Now everyone has the exact same question all the time with this specific figure. Is that, is this a KO? Now, first off, KO is knockoffs and knockoffs, we're not talking about third parties doing their own mold and version of a figure. We're talking about that someone did the exact same mold, did the exact same packaging as the car or Hasbro and is selling it and claiming that it's manufactured by them. Now that's what we mean by knockoff. And after doing tons of researching, joining different groups, having co discussions with big time collectors as well, it is concluded that no, there has been no knockoffs of the MP-10B Black Convoy. Now the reason why there has been none, quite simple, it did not do well in sales. There wasn't enough pre-orders for it, it did not go flying off the shelves, it was horrible. And for anyone to make knockoffs of a product, that product has to sell. So they won't make a knockoff of a product that doesn't sell. That just makes no sense. Now, a lot of people are looking for prices and try to evaluate if a figure is a knockoff or not by the price, which is completely wrong. Because first of all, prices change by even like the city or the province. Now example, I went to Ottawa and I went to a Toys R Us to buy a Transformers Titans Return Drypticon. Now they were selling it at $260 and they only had two left. But when I went to Montreal, they were selling it for $150 and less and they had more than 20 of them. So in Montreal they did not sell at all, but in Ottawa they were selling like crazy. So that changes the price completely and that's why you see different variants of this figures like prices is because depends on that person's province or city maybe over there it did not sell well or maybe it sold really well and that's why it got even more uh, expensive because it got backed over or etc so that's why you cannot evaluate a figure if it's legitimate or KO just by the price you actually have to go into it look at researches do comparison of the packages as well which is very important but for this figure, it actually has none. Now, it was specifically only talking about the MP-10B Black Convoy, not the MP-49. That would be related to a different video. But for now, guaranteed that there is no knockoff of this figure. Now, for pricing, this market price, because I bought this figure so many times, I bought it at least like four times, resold it, buy it back, and all sealed. Now for the price range is about 120 to 150. Now there is a lot of times that you're going to see people selling it for 300 or more, which is actually ridiculous. But sometimes you actually see them selling it for 80 bucks or less and then you're like, oh, might be a KO, is it worth it? Well, you know what? That $80 or less is not a KO. So you could definitely purchase it and happy that you have a legit masterpiece for a very cheap price. The only concern that you actually have to uh, consider is that if it's actually sealed or not. But for the prices of like 120 to 150, around that price is actually a good price. If you're actually spending like more 200 or more, that is a possibility if it actually comes with the masterpiece coin. Now for the coins, all of them are roughly about $60. Now with the figure itself, yes, that could actually increase and boost up the value if they're together. So. You could consider that as an increase of price, but is it really worth it? Each their own. Now, this video is not for sellers like to change the market price, no. This video is for anyone that's buying this figure or planning on buying this figure and is trying to really research and see if they could find a good deal and if they do find a good deal, if they have to worry about it being a KO or not. And I'm telling you, you do not have to concern yourself at all with that. Now, if someone takes the figure completely out and put like a fan story figure in, that is a different story. But that you could easily make a case for on 
whatever service you actually use to actually purchase. If you're doing it with eBay, it's very easy to make a case with eBay so you can get your money back. No issue. Now that's it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, like and subscribe. If you actually possess a KO version of the MP10B and I'm actually wrong, comment it down below with a picture and a timestamp. Now a timestamp is a piece of paper that has your name and the date. Just to prove me wrong, but I really doubt it. And if you guys want to see more upcoming episodes of Transformers or other collectibles that I have, follow me on my Instagram where I always post upcoming reviews that I'm planning on doing. Till next time, I'm Vaughn and this was the Gear Channel.